Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel LearnIT. Today's session I will be talking about report creation in ServiceNow. So please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So let's proceed further and see how we can create the report in ServiceNow. So I would be using incident and change module for report creation. Alright, so for report creation I will type here report. And you will see there are multiple options uh, displaying under report section like uh, view run create new report or schedule report getting started with reports so you will get multiple options but for creation of reports i would be using view run module of report section so i will click on view run so now here i would be seeing uh, existing reports in the system which is already created all right so let's try to create new reports uh, for incident first so you can see there is a create report button here so as soon as i will click on create report button here you can see the ui is uh, displayed uh, reporting ui is displayed now here we can provide some details like report name source type and what would be the data source so first of all we will select incident report incident priority one incident so what we will do is like we will create a report p1 incident report all right and we will select the table here and table we will select So table we will select incident all right so whatever if someone has selected data source people can select data source here and if source type is selected as table we have to select the table name here so you can see currently the table name is incident so i have run the report so currently this is displaying all the incident which is p1 or which is not p1 so let's try to add some filter conditions inside this report so suppose priority is p1 and now we will run this criteria so you will see the 27 incident uh, which is on p1 which is closed and uh, open so we will add one more condition here active is true so we will run this filter again and we will see there are 16 open incidents those are in p1 all right we will save this report and you can see this report is saved p1 incident report so here you can add all the filter conditions on what basis you have to display your uh, list of records all right and uh, if we move to type so we can select bar bar pies and donuts we can use time series scores we can use so we can use multiple options here pivot table pyramid so lot of options are there which we can use to generate our reports so that user can view it uh, in a very good uh, visual way all right so you can use any one of them and we have configure under configure we can do the group by of our uh, columns which is uh, displaying under those uh, table so you can see there is a uh, group by options for columns and we can do the multiple call multiple group by also so we can do it from here and styles are there so like we can uh, define the size of the title and the title color and as well as we can define the horizontal element also all right so these are the reporting options through which we can create a report so now what we will do is like this is one report for incident so let us try to create more report so now we will what we will uh, try to create we will try to create all open change request all open change request 
okay so table will be selected as change request so this is our table name change request and now i will click on run and you can see there are 104 change request in the system so now i will add the filter like uh, active is true because i want all the change requests which are open so open change request are 93 so this is the report and we can save this report again all right so this report is created and now we will go on view run again now i will create normal change request and i will show you how we can do insert and stay uh, within the reports so quickly it will you will be able to create your reports so i will use again same normal change request and i will add the condition right now what i will add the condition active is true and change type Okay, there is no any suppose let me run first how much incident are there now I will select type sorry change request so type I will select as uh, like suppose I will create this as a standard first so type I will select a standard and I will uh, add a condition active is true now i will run this change request report so there are only four change request which is which is a standard so i will save this record now how we can do the insert and stay thing so i will show you that as well so next is normal change request so i will just rename this normal and i will update this type and i will click here and i will do insert and stay so what will happen the new report will be created and old report uh, will be there already in the system all right so here we can see we are having 84 records and now similar way uh, standard normal emergency now i will create emergency report as well emergency change request so now here we will change it to emergency and now I will click on run and now insert and stay. So you can see we have five change requests for this uh, type of change request and now we will see what all reports v1 incident. So this is one of the report is this one so I will make it as favorite you can make this report as favorite as well from here and now we have created multiple change request report So these are our reports which we have created so you can see we have created five reports p1 incident report and all open change requests standard change requests so these are the five reports which I have created and I have shown you how we can create these reports these are the report creation technique in service now like we are uh, using to create alright so in next session I will be creating a dashboard and how we can copy the dashboard or duplicate the dashboard or delete the dashboard so we will see everything in the next session of dashboard and there I will show you how we can add these reports in that dashboard 
and we can create tabs under that dashboard as well all right so please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it Thank you.